What have I done? This man has done so many good things. And I think back to my childhood and the, the stories I heard. And I watched the passion of these people and how they worship. God, could it be that he really is their Messiah? Will he ever, ever forgive what I've done? Oh, and my wife's dream. Her dream! She dreamed I met a Galilean Most amazing man He had that look Peter, who is this you speak of? 
one of Jesus' disciples. What, what are you looking for? And what are you talking about? Where are those scrolls? Scrolls? What am I supposed to know about? You're not going to let any of this go until you have the answers, are you? Of course not. I must know. Here. They are over here. But you know, if anyone finds out that we have these, we are as good as prisoners for the rest of our lives. Women are never allowed to own these. Where are women? The scrolls are here. Why are they here if we're a woman living in this house? Well, when Father passed and Uncle came for everything, I, I kind of... You hid them? Wonderful! Brilliant! Nothing we should brag about. Ah, here it is, Isaiah 53, 1 through 12. What? I do say, what has saddened you so quickly? I must go, Miriam. Our message, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away, yet who of his generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people he was punished. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life an offering for sin, he will see his offspring and prolong his days, and the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. After he has suffered, he will see the light of life and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Oh, what has she seen? And where is she going? Heard. But why? He's committed no crime. According to the written. 
breaking laws, he's committed many. He's healed the sick and raised the dead on the Sabbath. He socializes with the poor. He was seen at the wells with a woman who has a bad reputation throughout the towns. He has done much, and now he has to suffer for it. There must be some explanation. Please tell me that there is. Across his big and his blood pressure fell deadly. 